Can you believe it, Just We're down to the last two. Last two, honey child. If you watched our last video, then you know both of the hand tampers I made broke. So I broke down and got us back up steel one. This, I, I wanted to get a smaller one. Our other one is 10 inches. This one is eight inches. And this will be our first time using it. How do you feel so far? How's the effectiveness? Well, so far it seems a little harder to use than the ones we made. I still like those better but it's a little bit easier than uh, the other one. Okay, okay, so the smaller eight inch one, easier to use, maybe a little bit more effective than the larger one, but still not quite as good as the handmade ones. But check this out. So I've been busy here in the workshop and I made another hand tamper. This one looks like about the best one I've done yet. And it's a combination of cement and the concrete sand I got. So this will still take a while before we can use it. I'm gonna do a slow cure on it. So I'm gonna just kind of keep it wet and keep it wrapped in the plastic bag. So I'm hoping this one turns out nice and strong. Of course, I think the weak point on the last two was the yucca branch. I definitely recommend going with a harder wood. That's what she said, right? <laughs> You got a new tamping method? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this pole compass has been absolutely amazing. We added a level in the middle of the arm and now this thing has become multi-purpose because not only can we tell exactly where the bag should be in the circumference, but now we can uh, make sure that everything's level as we go around. Basically, it's super easy to adjust. And we're moving on up. Woo, all right. Now that we got the tamping done, everything's looking real good. Oh man, course number five, and we are not even at two feet off the ground yet. Ah, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Next course, it'll be over two feet. <laughs> but our day definitely isn't stopping. I'm gonna go around, try and backfill the area. So I'll throw in some dirt around these couple courses of bags, tamp it down so it's real nice and tight, sturdy. Jessica, she's gonna be doing some sifting, as well as, you know, doing whatever else that needs to get done around here. Dang, what you got there? What you been up to? Cutting some parsley. I'm gonna dry it. That's quite the harvest of parsley. <laughs> wow. Okay, very cool. That all came from the garden, huh? Yes. We're growing, we're growing something. Parsley. We are up today working at sunrise and we're working at uh, way after sunset. No footage of us backfilling and tamping, but uh, we were just spending a little extra time out here. We wanted to get ready. We want to get another course done tomorrow. So we wanted to get the backfilling done. We wanted to get the tamping done, so we're ready to go. And we're just about done. <laughs> it's kind of nice working out here after dark. Actually. You know what? Yeah, it's cool. You can see the stars and it's romantic. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, we'll catch you guys in the morning. We'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> well, I'm out here early taking a look at the work we've done last night. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. The sun's about to come up and I got to get started again. I'm going to get a jump on, get some soil sifted, and I might have to do some sifting while we're doing the bags in order to keep up on this. Hopefully I can get ahead. We'll see. We're not even using the ladder to get down here anymore, are we? Nope. <laughs> what do we got to do today? Uh, everything. 
<laughs> That's a good answer. And more. Everything and more. Course number six. All right, I just gotta point this out. Take a look at this. Jessica has already developed the skill to cinch the barbed wire into the bag without even using any rocks or bricks or whatever. I need no weights. Woo, this is gonna be awesome. But now that she can do this, I mean, this will save a ton of time and a ton of headache once we go up and we can't just have a bunch of rocks laying around. What you doing over here? What you doing with the bags? Getting them. <laughs> And making sure they're all the same size. Yeah, because what's the one issue that we've seen with these? There are some bags that are just an inch or two shorter and narrower. Now you may not think that's a huge issue, but when putting these bags and trying to get them just right, that could cause some issues, right? Yeah, especially the height, because the narrower bags are gonna tamp down like a little flatter so then it, it makes it harder to get your course level if there's one that's down a little more so she's just taking a moment going through and just making sure we got the same size bags and it's not like we won't be able to use the other ones we'll just use the other ones for different areas how's it looking like how uh are we making a big dent in it or not quite yet oh okay i don't look too bad i don't look too bad Still got a lot. We still got a lot. We're gonna need a lot. Quick wardrobe change and we're back in action. You needed to put some sun protection on, didn't you? Yes. Sun ain't nothing to mess with out here. Got a little bit of a burn, eh? Yes, I did. Ugh. So it's getting warm out here. We stopped midway through the course to take a little lunch break. Because of that, I threw a little tarp over our dirt pile to help keep some of the moisture. Hopefully it didn't dry out while we were uh, eating lunch. And we're naked again. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry for the indecent exposure, y'all. <laughs> I guess no one wants to see all the glory. Until I get a six pack. You don't mind if we sit a spell, do you? That's a phrase, right? <sighs> Crazy hair, don't care. So we just got done tamping row number six. What? I think we're making good progress. We're making pretty good progress, considering a couple of amateurs don't know what the hell we're doing. Today was mid 80s. Generally, it's gonna be, probably be 10 degrees hotter, I'd say for most of the summer and at times it could even be 20 degrees higher than it is today. So I think on days like this, you know, it's we're not gonna shoot for goals to try and smash. We're gonna just take it easy and get what we can done. Uh, take again, breaks as needed. What did you say? Gotta pace ourselves because this is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how good does this feel, right? We're building our own rainwater harvesting cistern from the dirt right from our own land nothing else inside the bag just 
subsoil and rainwater. How cool is that that we're building our rainwater harvesting cistern using collected rainwater? Building anything really helps build your self-confidence. It builds your self-esteem. It empowers you. Every can we put into the bag, every bag we lay down, I feel like this is just going to bring us that much closer to self-sustainability. We'll be that much closer to being water independent. Mm -hmm. you know, I think when we started this journey, everyone was like, you know, uh, when are you going to get a well put in? Uh, you need a well. I think we we're kind of debating, like, did we want a well right away? Uh, we're going to do water harvesting. We ended up doing water harvesting, I think, just because we just felt more comfortable with it, you know? There's just no guarantees with a well. Out here in, a, in an arid area, it's very much a reality that you might have a well that goes dry. It's happening all the time around here. But uh, so far, even with just the two small tanks, we've been getting by with just our living needs. Yeah, and with larger storage, that opens up all kinds of possibilities of being able to grow food and sustaining us for all our needs. First you take care of the water, then we'll take care of the house. <laughs> Then we'll tell you, then we'll get to growing some stuff. We'll get to growing some more stuff. But you actually just planted something, didn't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you plant? A peanut. We planted a peanut. Yay. Yeah. Uh, six rows in. I think one more row and we'll be a quarter of the way done. You excited? Tired, but excited. All right, uh, man. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye.